Hello and welcome to more Nerdy Rodent Geekery. Today I am taking a quick look at Aphantasia. Yes, this is clip plus FFT text to image. It's more clip fun. So what features have we got in here? Well, we can generate massive detailed textures. Awesome. Fast convergence, full HD stroke 4K resolutions and above various clip models, complex queries, continuous mode and saving loading parameters to resume processing. Ooh, awesome stuff. So how do we get this installed and running? Well, first thing that we need to do, of course, is download all the code in that repo. So git clone and uh, CD Aphantasia. That's where I am now. And uh, you'll also want to uh, create a new Anaconda environment if you're anything like me using Python 3.7, because that's the same as the environment used here. Python 3.7 and PyTorch 1.7.1. So Let's just quickly activate my new Condor environment and uh, then you can get on to installing the various packages. There is, of course, PyTorch 1.7.1. You'll need to uh, install all of that. Then uh, clip install minus r requirements.txt. That will go through and install a bunch of things there. You'll also want to uh, map plot lib as well. There you go. Very, very quick there. The OpenAI clip. That's the main reason we're using 1.7.1. Uh, you can maybe force it to use 1.8.1 or similar if you're really good at coding. But for now, we're going to stick with the basic easy packages. So there you go. If you've pip installed all the stuff, all the stuff, you've got all the required packages. Now you can run any of these three things. So you basically got clip FFT that takes your text and turns it into images. Uh, Illustra, which makes a, a video sort of and uh, interpol which will interpolate from saved pt files now one thing to point out is that uh, there are a lot of ffmpeg things in here which uh, are a little bit weird so let's take a look at uh, illustra for example crack this one open now anywhere you see ffmpeg uh, you'll probably want to put in uh, that little separator symbol i think uh, i think by default it's it's like that so it doesn't actually look at the images in the directories so we'll have it with the images actually in the directories, please. Thank you very much. Otherwise, you won't get any videos. Hmm. OK, but much like uh, Deep Days and Big Dream, you essentially uh, pass in uh, some text, load of options there, and uh, it will it will it will take your text and turn it into an image. How, how fantastic is that? So these uh, take quite a long time to render. So I have pre rendered them already and uh, it puts them into your out directory there. So there's lots of things in here. As you can see, there's lots of JPEGs and PT files and MP4s and all that sort of thing. So here is the painting of Abraham Lincoln wearing glasses and looking very cool. 640 by 480, a thousand steps. Here he is, Abraham Lincoln looking very cool. So it starts off like that, all a bit, um, all a bit not very much like Abraham Lincoln at all. And uh, as it goes through the iterations, it, uh, it slowly ups the quality a bit. So there you go. So as you can see, it's pretty good, basically after the uh, the first 250 or so, and uh, then it just cleans up a little bit. There we go. So there's Abraham Lincoln looking very cool, and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you don't have to do little tiny ones though. You can do these bigger ones. So once in a lifetime opportunity wasted because of impatience is uh, 1920 by 1080. So let's have a look at that one. There we go. There he is. Very fish-like, if you ask me. Very, very fish-like. But uh, yeah, that is the once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. So there you go. You've got text. Turns it into an image. Takes about five minutes or so just to run through uh, a few hundred steps. Now, um, if you want to make a video, assuming you've also uh, changed that FFmpeg line as well, otherwise you'll get all these errors that say, oh, I can't find that file or directory I can't I can't do anything um, then uh, you just take a text file like this one and you put some lines of text in there there you go you pass that as your your minus I there so text file and then that will create a movie a movie excellent now if you didn't change the uh, the FFmpeg lines then it does still save all the uh, all the image files so you can use FF FFmpeg anyway um, to uh, to make your video afterwards 
But uh, let's have a quick look at that. So when you do that, it puts it all into a separate directory. So text file. So it's got all the files in there, as you can see in underscore final. That's where the uh, the final thousand are. And uh, yeah, so you can turn that into your movie using FFmpeg if you want to. Or I have changed it. I have changed it. So this just makes the MP4. And as you can see, sort of slowly but surely smoothly transitions from one into the next one. It is it is moving, honestly. It is moving. So it's a very slow transition. There you go. Very slow transition. That's uh that's flowing robes, that one, apparently. <laughs> yeah. And uh that is the sound of one hand clapping. So there it goes. Very, very smooth, very, very smooth transition between all of those things. And you, you still get the PT files in there as well if you want to use those later, which you could do, for example, with this uh, interpol.py. So you run that one, and that will basically take all the, the PT files in a particular directory. So in this case, I uh, specified the underscore out directory. So that will take those drawings that I generated up at the beginning with save PT on. Yeah, so all three of those. And then that interpolates into video that looks a bit like this so as you can see it's a bit more a bit more swishy so it quickly changes from one into another and then keeps that one on the screen for quite a while quickly changes into the next one we'll just skip ahead and then also changes into that one again as well quickly flipping back to the beginning where it sort of loops so it creates a sort of sort of looped video there see that one changing there we go so yeah so that's two different ways to uh, create videos there, assuming you have changed FFmpeg to actually include the slash, otherwise you'll get the errors. But yeah, there you go. A Fantasia, lots of fun, lots of videos, lots of uh, very weird images uh, in HD. Hmm. Enjoy. Rodent out for now.